Hey, all right, guys, how are we doing? First of all, I just want to say a massive thank you to every single one of you that has subscribed to me on this YouTube channel. It means the world to me. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button because we're trying to hit 100k over the next year. Big goal, but we're going to go for it. And we're starting now with my desk setup in 2024. I definitely think the best place to start off with is the MacBook. This is a MacBook 2023 M2 Pro, I believe. Um, I upgraded from like a 2021, and honestly, it's one of the best purchases I've made over the last couple of years. I think it's incredible. It allows me to edit and produce everything that I do right from my desk. And obviously, I've got it linked up to an incredible widescreen monitor. I have no idea what it is. MSI. MSI. There you go. MSI um, widescreen monitor that's curved as well, which is absolutely unbelievable. As I said, great picture. I've currently got some dynamic moving wallpaper going on here which uh, I only did the other day I haven't even paid for the full thing yet which is why you got this thing done but I will be doing that because I think these kind of backgrounds look really really cool so one of the newest changes I've made on this de desk setup is instead of having the magic keyboard from Apple I decided to get a proper gaming keyboard that lights up because I thought it just added a lot to the desk which I think you can agree looks very very good um, and yeah I think it's one of my favorite purchases that I've made recently um, definitely an upgrade um, but yeah, it's a reason, honestly, I recommend get yourself one of these things. It's a 60% keyboard and it's lovely. Now, again, similar to um, what I just said before, I used to use the Magic Trackpad, which is back there somewhere, which is very, very good, don't get me wrong. But recently I thought I'd go back to mouses for a little bit. Um, I've not actually bought myself a really nice one yet, but I'm definitely gonna make one soon. However, this one from um, TechNet has been absolutely incredible to me for the past couple months. Um, no complaints there, it's absolutely perfect. So um, yeah, I won't be changing it too soon, but I definitely will upgrade at some point. So since I'm a streamer and a recording artist, this is the best home microphone I think you can buy on the market. It's an SM7B, I literally use it for all my streaming, all my recording, everything that I do is done this microphone. And I've got it attached to a mount or a boom thing here that it just kind of goes underneath the screen there. Ignore all the cables, although I know I have a cable problem, please, no one go for me. Um, but yeah, and um, yeah, it's very, very good. It's never, ever, ever let me down since I've paid for it, and yeah, I love it. Now, this is probably the next thing I am going to upgrade. Um, it's a Focusrite Scarlett um, 2i2. Um, they are incredible, especially for beginners. They're incredible and they do the job. And again, amazing for home studios and um, people who stream and things like that. They actually just do the job so, so well. However, I'm getting to the point now where I would like something a little bit fancier. So that's definitely going to be the next thing I upgrade. However, I definitely recommend it. They're not too expensive um, and they do the job. They absolutely will do the job for you until you can afford to get one of the higher tier things <laughs> i couldn't even think of the word interfaces there you go um but yeah absolutely recommend these to anyone as i said as well in this video please do not judge my cable issue i've always had cable issues and i've never thought to sort them but whatever um here's my ps5 remote which is obviously for my playstation 5 which is down there and i've got myself just a little midi keyboard um i'm not the best pianist in the world however it does the job and um allows me just to work very quickly just working on these as i said because i'm not the best piano player in the world however this makes things 20 times easier again not very expensive does the job very very well and i couldn't recommend it more so if when i'm doing my streaming and everything i use the elgato capture card hd60 never let me down i think everyone uses this thing and um, it's incredible again please don't mention the wires however yeah i couldn't recommend it more if you're streaming or recording gameplay it's just something that everyone uses and uh, over here I have my PlayStation 5 headset that I use just for gaming when I'm playing with my mates and then back here I have my actual studio headset which I use for recordings when I'm streaming anything like that so I have two headsets for two different things I probably don't need that but I do have it anyway so please don't judge and then here as you saw in the thing I've got a there you go <laughs> a uh, wireless charger there which is just so handy when you're just streaming for hours on end just to have sitting there you know you get your notifications and uh, it's charging at the same time what more do you want 
Coming up here, um, I've got a few little bits just to sort of give a bit more colour to the room. So I've got these two prime bottles. No particular reason, I just liked the colours and I think they pop out and they look really cool so I've just always kept them there. Um, I've got two matching plants here. I definitely recommend having some form of plant in your room. It just adds a lot of colour and just I think it just looks a lot nicer and a lot more professional. I've got this little bobblehead Grogu thing which I was given by a fan one day. So. Thank you so much if you're watching this. Uh, I still have it to this day. Uh, Pedro bought me this, which I think is just so cool above a desk. I think when you have it all the way back, you can just see how much that stands out and how cool that is. A uh, picture of me in, in Disneyland, my brother. And then I've got a picture of me and my cat here who sadly passed away. Don't need to make this a sad video, but I've got a picture of him up there. And as I said, all these things up here just add a lot of color and just give a lot more personality to the desk. Then over here, I have this ring light, which as you can imagine, I just use whenever I'm sat at the desk, just gives me obviously a bit of color when I am streaming. Um, works very well, very simple, it's just attached to the back of the desk. So all I have to do is just flick on one button and it's on and I'm ready to go. This is typically where I have my camera whenever I'm streaming or making videos on my desk. I use a Canon M50 Mark II, which um, as I said, has never really let me down. I've had it for ages. Um, I think it was originally my brother's, but I literally attach it to this little thing here, but obviously I'm using it. Um, and yeah, that's just how easy it is just to crack on with that. Um, finally, um, I have these speakers here. I don't even know what model they are. They're very dusty. Again, I need to upgrade them, but they're M Audio. Never really let me down. I've never sort of sat there and gone, oh, I need new speakers, but um, I definitely think at some point I should spend a little bit of money and get some nicer ones. Probably the last little thing at my desk, which uh, makes things 20 times easier just to, you know, go from one thing to the next, is this little HDMI switcher here, um, which pretty much just switches between my PlayStation 5 and then the doubled screen of my Mac. Um, that is one of the biggest time savers and one of the most convenient things I've ever bought for my desk. Um, genuinely, I love it and I couldn't recommend getting something like that more. It's just very easy and just sorts everything out in seconds. I've also got this like over steel chair, which is such a nice chair, honestly. I'm a big purple fan as well, so this is just unbelievable. I love it with all of my heart. It's honestly just everything. And I had such a crap chair for so long, and I didn't realize what sitting down comfortably felt like. So thanks to over steel, this is just everything. So nothing on this desk actually costs a lot of money, maybe except the MacBook. Um, I haven't actually got a crazy amount of money. I just wanted to get a bunch of stuff that was convenient so I could just do everything I wanted to do at this desk. I literally produce, stream, game, everything on this desk. So it's nice to have just like one station where I can do everything. And it's literally the reason why I spend 80% of my time here at this desk sat in this chair. And this is definitely a low end budget of what a lot of people have in the industry at the moment. I'm not there yet, but one day. But anyways, thank you so, so much for watching this video. Please, please, please hit the subscribe button. It means the absolute world to me. We're looking to hit 100K this year. If you want to be part of the team, it would mean a lot to me and you're always welcome on this channel. If you haven't already, also check me out on Twitch and Instagram. I'd appreciate a follow on both those platforms. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.